Santa Barbara Baker here showing you how to use your pizza turning peel. If you're making backyard pizza, you really only need two peels. A peel to load your pizzas and a peel to turn your pizzas. Today we're going to be focusing on the turning peel. Why do you need a turning peel? You know, you're loading peel here. You could definitely use this to turn your pieces as well, but a turning peel will for sure give you a better bake. And why is that? When you're using a turning peel, your pizza is staying completely in the oven and it's also staying in better contact with that baking surface because it's got a smaller head. At the end of the day, you'll get a better bake. You can also use it as a tool to get better browning on your crust, deflect heat. It's one of the most valuable tools in the pizza makers toolkit. I highly recommend one. I'm using one today from GI Metal. So getting started with a pizza turning peel, I feel like it can be a bit daunting. You're like, it looks pretty foreign. Like the size of the head is really small. It's round. Why is it round? The roundness is for, you use it to your advantage. Instead of having any hard edges on here when it's round, you're gonna be less likely to rip your pizza once you get the hang of it. I feel though, at first though, you know, the comfort of a larger loading peel for most people making backyard pizza is appealing but I, I say invest the time to learn how to use one of these. And how do you do that? When you're making backyard pizza pizza at your house, you don't have a lot of excess dough balls. And when you're messing around, this thing is pretty intimidating. Going in your first try, you can definitely rip your pizza. You wanna make sure you go in there nice and flat. And it takes a little bit of finesse at first. And so what I recommend is use something other than pizza. Make sure your Unicode 16 or whatever pizza oven is, is of course turned off fully cool down i got it completely unhooked and today i'm just using i just have like a little pizza tray here and something about a weight of a dough ball here it's you know bag of chocolate chunks it's weighing in at 284 grams i feel like that's you know a reasonable weight for a pizza and you can just put that into your oven here and that way you can get a good feel like you can also work it on a countertop but on a cool down oven, you're actually using what you're gonna be baking the pizzas in. You wanna build that confidence. So when the first time you're going in there on a real dough ball, you're feeling pumped up, like you got this, because you do. It's not, once you got this down, you're gonna be stoked. It's gonna change your pizza making life for sure. So what is the motion? It's actually really simple. You see people that have been doing it for a long time. It looks just so easy, just a little bit of finesse. They're barely going in there and pulling back and you can see pizzas spinning around like crazy. It's, it's pretty rad to watch. There's a reason they've been using these things in Naples for eons. They work great once you get that technique. So the technique, how I do it is you're going in underneath the pizza, always making sure you're really flat in there because you don't want to actually come up and rip the pizza, especially in that initial turn. I'm coming in usually over here on the side of the pizza and then the motion after, you know, you can clear underneath if it's feeling a little sticky, but the motion to turn it is coming in, sliding, and you just barely turn the peel up and pull back. And that'll start spinning your pizza. It seems kind of crazy, but it works great. Just a little bit of an angle. You can angle it up higher, but you gotta be careful with that because you can start burning your crust, but you can also use that to your advantage once you get the hang of it and start getting a little better browning as you're spinning your pizza. So you just wanna go ahead if you're practice on, you know, something like I got coming here, my tray with the chunks and just kind of get your feel for it. Sliding it underneath and just angling. Oh, you can see here, of course, on the camera, cubing it on the first one, but it's just a really gentle motion going underneath angling up and, sl and sliding it around. Keep working on that and then move on to your pizza dough balls. You might just get it in the first couple tries. I've just seen some people get it on the first try. Other people, man, making bomb pizzas, but it can be a little tricky. Do not get intimidated. You got this. Let's get on, let's make up a real pizza and try it on a real dough ball. As soon as I have my pizza loaded, I take my trusty turning peel and start warming it up. You don't want a cold turning peel hitting your warm pizza. So I temper in the oven here as I'm taking a look, starting to watch the pizza as it starts puffing up, looking for some nice browning, some leoparding starting to set in the back and also the crust up here towards the mouth of the oven starts to set. You can start see it almost start lifting up from the deck of the oven, all good signs. Thinking about my first turn here, I'm planning to go in here on the left side, just go in underneath the pizza, clear it, and then lifting up slightly, pulling back to spin the pizza. Let's go in for a try. We're in, we're nice, we're not sucked, just lifting up slightly, 
spinning it just like that. A nice easy turn. Now browning up the next portion of the pizza. I see I can actually turn it a little bit more there. It looks a little bit dark. Being careful not to rip the pizza, but as you can see, we're just going in with a motion, going up, angling up slightly, pulling back. Now lift the pizza up, adding a little browning, the crust and also spinning the pizza a little bit. Keeping an eye on this thing, it's cooking up pretty fast here. Got a, a nice mark in here, always going flat when I'm going in to turn the pizza. You want to keep it as flat as possible. That'll make sure you don't rip. Freeing it up, you can go sweep the underneath of the pizza if you feel it a little bit sticky, but always being careful because a rip. You can end up having a bad day, but you know, just let that pizza set. You can usually kind of salvage and you know, you're having pizza, so you're stoked. All right, next turn here. Going in, this thing is looking really good. Completing our first rotation. After that, you don't, you want to be careful not to lift up the crust too much as you're going in for your turns. You want to keep it pretty flat and you can actually just spin the pizza. It's a pretty easy motion. When you get it down, you don't have to lift it up much and you can just gently spin it or get it spinning quickly depending on the style you want. But be careful here because you don't want to kick it too far back into the oven or that's a good way to burn it. This thing is baking up really nice. We're on the home stretch here. Just gonna let this pizza finish up. As my pizza's finishing up, I'm just using my turning peel to keep an eye on it, keeping it spinning to make sure it doesn't burn. Just letting that crust, the final brownie, picking it up a little bit, seeing if that crust is fully to the nice crispiness. I like if you're going for a more Neapolitan, it'll be done quicker. I like a little bit of hyperbic. This thing looks about done. Pull it out, take a look, looking so nice. This pizza margarita is looking all finished up to me and I can just use this turning peel to pull the pizza out, just being careful as you remove it. The pizza margarita looking great. Get this thing onto the rack. That was a beautiful and delicious pizza margarita. Had a little help here with the pizza turning peel, making it all possible. I hope you found this video useful. I want to leave you guys with a couple of little bonus tips. One of the most common questions I'm getting on my Instagram, that's Santa Barbara Baker on there as well, is on my reels. What are you doing with the peel in here? Kind of like have it in there as you're baking. Well, what I'm doing, you can kind of use this peel to deflect some heat. Also protect your pizza in the event you have a little burning spot there, you can give it a little insulation, but a lot of heat escapes out of the front of the oven here. And so you can just use it as a little tool, maybe get a little bake. I don't know how much of a difference it does, but it's worth a shot. I hope you enjoyed this video and are feeling more comfortable. You guys got, you got it. This turning peel is gonna make your pizzas better and you'll just have a lot more fun baking it. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any more questions about the turning peel. I can take an even deeper dive in this thing if there's more you guys want to learn. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you did. Give me a follow on Instagram. I'm Santa Barbara Baker on there. All my pizza recipes, including pizza dough, are up on SantaBarbaraBaker.com. That's where the blog is. I love you all. Please keep making pizza, dreaming about pizza, living that pizza passionate lifestyle. One love.